Dula. It means servant to women. Historically speaking, women have always helped women in childbirth. The support of other women has been a profound element of birth throughout the ages. Sisters, mothers, aunts, grandmothers, cousins, or friends used to attend births to offer comfort and strength. In the United States, the standard birthplace changed from home to a modern hospital setting during the 20th century. During this transition, the dynamic of female birth support shifted away from ancient wisdom and moved towards a physician-based model of care. This shift of power left a gap, but with that gap came an opening for a newly defined role in the birth room. And what we have now are professional labor support people, we call doulas, who do help the childbearing family. One of the descriptions of our job is, is kind of like a tour guide to the land of birth. You want to be on that journey with someone who's been there before. You just kind of knew exactly you know, what you were feeling and what you needed, and it was, it was more of like a, a deeper connection, I think, than just rubbing your back. She could really read me as a person by that point. By nurturing the mother, we nurture the child. And to have a healthy baby, we need a healthy mother. Birth doulas do not provide any kind of medical care, so we won't do anything that your clinical support team will do. A doula provides emotional and physical support, whereas a midwife is providing medical care. During your birth, doulas provide emotional and physical support throughout the entire birth process, from the start of labor until the baby is born. I think in the setting that we have today, um, women benefit from having support people in labor. We work in every hospital in the metro area, and we know where the warm towels are kept, and we know how to find the ice water, and we just take little edges off the nurse's role that let the nurse do very well what she specifically needs to do. They don't have to do any charting. They don't have to run up and worry about, is the equipment working right? Things like that. They are just there for moms and their families and the babies. When the doula is not the care provider and is freed of the duties of, you know, being concerned about fetal heart tones or being concerned about maternal exhaustion, she is, is freed to provide that emotional support that in many, many cases gets the mother over that hump in labor that can be so difficult. We assure her that within this space that we will hold for her. She's free to do whatever she instinctively needs to do to bear this particular child. And I think the support that our doula as well as Scott um, being there allowed me to really believe in that process, believe in myself and make sure that, um, that the other details were taken care of. And after birth, um, they're so helpful with getting, you know, moms and dads ice or something to eat, um, helping with the initial breastfeeding and supporting that bonding with the baby right after birth. I think you and I both use doula ourselves and I always feel like a hypocrite if I don't recommend it as the best thing because <laughs> yeah. we obviously thought it was the best thing. I'm in the business of creating an experience, so I want them to have the birth experience that they want to have. So I support families in every kind of birth situation, medicated, unmedicated, planned cesarean, vaginal birth, hospital, home, birth center, anywhere that they want to be. And I really work with them to help them to create the experience that they want to have for their birth. Part of creating a personalized birth experience begins by establishing a relationship with your doula before labor begins, oftentimes months in advance. Our doula didn't just show up that day, but we had gotten to know her and had done a lot of communicating beforehand, so I felt like she really knew us. The doula has that relationship with the family, and so um, knowing what the mom or the couple wants and helping to communicate that to particularly the nurses can be really helpful. So she knew what things I was interested in or what I wanted to try and then suggested those things mm -hmm. as we went along in the birth, which was yep. great. Patients of mine who are choosing to use doulas come to their prenatal visits a lot more well-educated. Mm -hmm. They come with really insightful questions. We do help parents become better medical consumers. You can read a lot of information and you know watch videos, but birth was a really sort of unknown emotional terrain and physical terrain. I was nervous and unsure, and so having somebody that I felt like I could trust and also someone that I felt like I could be vulnerable to and sort of do what I needed to do was really important. We calm the mother so she has access to her wisdom within her brain. And the more comfortable she is, 
then the more she can speak from that place and know what she needs. It made us feel a lot more confident and excited for labor instead of scared or uncertain. The emotional support that doulas offer is unique and invaluable. But for those seeking more measurable values, evidence shows that doula care vastly improves birth outcomes. Women who use doulas, they have a lower intervention rate, shorter labor times. Families that use doulas really use less pain medicine, especially if that's the desire of the mom or the couple. And I think um, less use of pain medication results in less complications. I think it does decrease C-section rates, and I certainly want to do that. I think we all do. Less use of Pitocin, I think, with a doula as well. People move in labor, and they're doing the natural things that help labor progress without feeling like it increases the risk to the mom in any way. In addition to the emotional and physical benefits of labor, one key element is continuous care. Especially in a hospital setting, this is a role specific to doulas. They are the one person that doesn't leave at shift change, and they do some of the things that I thought that I would be able to continue doing as a midwife, but some of the competing interests that I have caring for more than one person at a time means that there should be someone else who can do that. As a labor nurse, we would love to be at the bedside the whole time, but it's not realistic with the paperwork and the computer work. We realized that the doctor, the nurse, was not going to be in the room uh, the entire time. When you're having deep conversation with your patient and then you have to leave for another responsibility, your doula doesn't leave. They stay with you the whole time. There is no other role that is like the doula's role. It, it isn't overlapping. And I've learned a lot from doulas that they are really willing to show a new thing that they've learned. I guess one of the things that I learn from doulas the most is all the different labor positions that people can try, all the different breathing techniques. So I went from leaning against the wall to being on all fours, to being on a birth ball, to leaning over his shoulder, to leaning over her shoulder. We had like a trapeze bar above the bed and sheets tied up there and it was like I was holding on them like water skiing. Uh, just very creative, very creative moves. I don't think the nurse had ever seen those before. As a nurse you can um, have your medicine hat on too much, and sometimes I think the doula can bring it back to this really is a natural process. I was expecting it to be action-packed and a little bit stressful and like I would be using my wilderness first responder skills or something, which was obviously not needed. It's the doulas who have kept the hospital world honest by reminding us the importance of supporting normal birth and respecting women's choices. Having her there made it possible to have the medicine-free birth that we wanted. The more they want to be an active participant in their experience, the more I feel like they would benefit from having a doula work with them. The our doula helped us be, be ourselves through the whole process. That it, it really enabled us to just forget about all the other things that were going on and just focus on the actual birth. It was so calm. I, the word that we have used to describe it was meditative which I would have never associated with birth. She's mellow. And She's I don't very think calm. Of us <laughs> which is what we wanted, yeah, someone we who would something. be calm. We need mellow people around. Because doula care is a professional service, many couples wonder if hiring a doula is an affordable choice. I'm a cheap mama, and um, we were kind of trying to figure out what what we wanted to spend money on for this process of uh, a birth and labor and having a baby. How much is this going to cost and is it going to be, you know, is it is it going to be worth it? It's one of the most stressful in some ways days of your life and if you could pay a few hundred dollars to take away some of that stress and get some help and take some of the pressure off me and just what she wanted, uh, then I thought it was worth it. There's a lot of intangibles, a lot of intangible uh, benefits and values that a doula provides that you can't put a price tag on. I also see some of the sweet things that doulas can provide, this extra voice, this extra witness to this miracle. And not only would I happily, happily hire a doula again, but I would even consider hiring two or yeah. two <laughs> whatever would be better. Do it. It's worth it. It's so worth it. The peace of mind that, that 
the woman and her partner will have is worth every single penny a doula costs. Doulas support more than just the laboring woman. Doulas support the birth partner too. Sort of initially his thought was, well the doula is going to be there for you and provide you the support. And I said, no, actually I'm, I'm more interested in the doula providing support for both of us. <laughs> like my husband when we first talked about it thought, well we don't need a doula because that's my job. You know, like I don't need help, I can do it. He didn't necessarily instinctually know what, what to do, how, how to support me the best way, how to touch me, how to move around me, when to give me space and when to be closer and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And he learned it mainly from watching her. Dads have never seen a woman in labor before. They've never seen the birth process. All I saw was like the pain and how difficult it was and I was getting I was kind of an emotional wreck and she just helped me to understand that actually our labor was going really well and that everything that was happening was normal. There was someone who was there that, um, that could sneak out of the room and give him a little bit of guidance and confidence and reassurance. It was very empowering to, for me and my, my husband to have our doula there and it helped him help me better so that we, we felt like a really awesome team at the end of it. The doula supporting me was critical to me being able to support Katie. So that chain of support was, I think, made our birth experience really joyful and calm. In addition to improving the experience of the birth partner, doulas can help facilitate communication between different members of the birth team, doctor, midwife, nurse, and family. For me professionally, I think it makes my job a lot easier if there's a doula involved, because I know that there's going to be somebody who meets the mom and partner, whoever, at home. They can labor at home, which definitely decreases complications. I think people are much more likely to come in early, come in sooner if they don't have a doula, and if they come in early, they're more likely to you know, end up getting some sort of interventions that perhaps maybe would have been avoided. They have their provider, whether that's a midwife, or that's someone at home, someone in a the hospital. They have their nurse if they're in the hospital. They might have a nurse midwife or a midwife in the hospital. But a lot of those folks are not there all the time. We like to look at labor management as a team approach very much. And a doula is an integral part of that team when she's here. And when it works as a team, it's fabulous. But I think without the doula, it's not complete. Had we not had her, it would have something would have been missing. As an obstetrician, I feel like when I have a doula present, most of those births go beautifully. I started my birth work as a doula, primarily in the hospital setting. I primarily work now as a home birth midwife, and I do see the value of a labor doula for both hospital and home births. I love when a family that I'm working with has hired a doula. People know who doulas are now, and we've even become kind of trendy. We are passionate about birth, we believe in birth, we believe in how birth works, and we believe in su supporting families. Just informing families of their choices, you know, I feel that if you don't know what your options are, you don't have any. And so as a doula, we're there just to provide that information and that support and to help guide them in their decision making. We've become very mainstream. We're recommended by obstetricians, perinatologists, midwives, home birth midwives, family practice docs. They all know that there is a unique role for this continuous support piece. Part of the spiritual journey of birth is keeping an open mind. Though many families hire a doula to help them achieve an unmedicated, natural childbirth, doulas provide crucial support in all kinds of births, including those with unexpected outcomes. When we originally looked into having a doula, it was to have the, the natural, perfect birth that I wanted. But during my labor, as complications arose, it was clear that that wasn't going to happen. When the unexpected comes up, having a doula along, um, at the very least, means you've got someone who's, you know, who's got your back and has your best interest in mind and can help you um, in ways you really weren't expecting. If an intervention is truly warranted, like there's a, a serious problem going on, they'll still happen. But the mom probably has a better understanding of what's happening around her and is maybe more enfranchised in the discussion about that. She told me everything that was going on in my C-section, you know, what they were doing step by step. It was really comforting to have that. Even though I was, I was worried about my wife, I knew that um, she had someone who was an advocate for her, um, looking out for her the entire time. We don't have control over our birth. It isn't always going to be perfect, natural birth that we hope for. 
no matter how hard we work at that, no matter how carefully we choose our caregivers. In those situations, the doula's role changes to help couples have their voice, have the support they need, to help them remember, to help them understand, postpartum as well as at the time. We talked about why certain interventions had to happen. It can be difficult to process, so having a doula there to do that with us was really nice. The work of doulas is more than knowledge and is more than a set of hands or a bag of tools. Doulas help honor the birth journey as a rite of passage for each child, each family, and each birth experience. Our game plan had changed. It was scary. I talked to one of my doulas and she said, Jess, here's what you should do. Just take a shower. Yes, you have time to take a shower. Have some food. Sit down on the couch and connect with your babies and let them know that it's okay that they decided to come today. And from that moment, I just wasn't scared anymore. You know, I knew everything was gonna be okay. I fell in love with the process. Seeing a new baby take their first breath, there's nothing like it. Childbirth is a social event and it's a physiological expression of a woman's sexuality in her life. And someone needs to be tending to that. I felt like we only had the wonderful birth that we had because of her. It's powerful and magical, and it's addicting. I, I love it. We want them to make the birth theirs. We want them to just own it and just say, this is the one and only time this baby will ever be born. It's an unforgettable experience, and I want to make the most of it. When you were born, you cried, and the world rejoiced. Live your life so that when you die, the world cries and you rejoice. When you
when they come to take me I will hold you from above I don't know why we're here and I don't know how but I'm here with you now <laughs>